Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'll be working on a iron die Kona. This is a fully electric vehicle. And the reason why I'm working on this vehicle today is because it's got an electronic issue with the driver electronic seats. The passenger side is working. As you can see, I'm just gonna operate it with the buttons. As you can see, those are the buttons down there. And as you can see, the seat's moving, including the backrest. But the driver's side, as you can see, I'm gonna try and operate it. There doesn't seem to be anything happening. Now, I've done some investigation into this and I'm just gonna take you through it just to show you if you have this issue, how to rectify this issue. First and foremost, I've checked to find out exactly where the fuse boxes are all located. Now it says the front fascia, which is located down here, as you can see, it says, Fuse OBD. So you can see it's got OBD socket there. This is on the driver's side, it's here next to the steering wheel. And I've also located what fuse it is. It's a 25 amp fuse, as you can see right there, that operates the front seat. As you can see, there's quite a few of them in there, and it's this one right here. gonna have a closer look at that fuse and as you can see the fuse is blown inside as you can see there's a big gap in the middle so that fuse will need to be replaced so we're gonna replace that fuse and then test the seat to see if the seat's working as you can see we've just found a 25 amp fuse Just gonna try that inside now, and that should rectify the problem, hopefully. As you can see, I've now fitted the new fuse, 25 amp. And as you can see, the seat's working. Just simple little things you can do. You can see the first thing is always to check the fuse. And if the fuse doesn't work, then you move on to other stages of diagnostic checks. Thank you, and thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. Please share and subscribe for further content. Thank you.